Right. Yeah, I've been doing this since I was like 13. My first gig I played out, I was 13 years old. And, uh, you know, that's like, I've been playing like every week since then. You know, I'm, I'm finally just got lucky enough to meet up with the right guys and write the right music and... Lincoln Park. We're lucky that we all work really well together and everybody's really talented. Even if you have a good idea, it's very difficult to, to pull those ideas in and actually be able to represent those ideas. Every, we looked every song like this song is going to be the single. We have to really make it work for the band and it was all about the songs. Coming with that approach made making the record easy and, and really fulfilling and it also turned out to be something that's really enjoyable to listen to. So. We really wanted to create an experience for the people that, that are able to hear it. Almost like if you were going to a great movie or you were on like a cool ride or something. We, we, want, we want the album to really grab you and, and you know, uh, move you from, from the first note to, to the last note on the record. And that's why you'll hear the variety of styles of songs that we put together, you know, to make the album. And we and, and took out a, some things that uh, didn't work because we want it, you know, again, it's like from step to step, from song to song, it should, you should have enough variety there that you can really, really stay entertained the whole time. The album is called Hybrid Theory, and the first single is called One Step Closer. The song itself is, is a very good representation of the group, you know, as far as the, the riffs and, and the power of the song, the aggression of it. And um, lyrically, it, it's just about kind of being fed up and just kind of, uh, you know, expressing that angst that we all feel, you know, that little bit of pressure that you just kind of want to get out all the time. It's been pretty rad. There, I just saw some dude walking around in like crazy like monk paint, just big guy that luckily I, I don't have to like, I don't have to fight him or anything in the video. <laughs> but I think there's going to be people like hanging upside down doing martial Kung arts. Fu and and it, we're actually shooting it um, in an old subway tunnel, like a 1930s subway tunnel that the city abandoned. And they've got it all lit down there. We actually had our friends who are uh, local artists graffiti up the walls and it, it's gonna be pretty crazy. The vibe is, is pretty much like Blade Runner meets The Matrix. Hopefully we can pull that off. Yeah. That's a, those are pretty big shoes to fill, but we're working for that, that's our goal. Cool. It's cool, it's kind of crazy, but yeah, it's, it's cool, cool spot. Um, everyone's excited, everyone's working together pretty well. So I, th I think we will have a good finished product. Yeah. When we play live, we really that's when we really feel like we are accomplishing our goals and we're, we're getting out there and just performing our hearts out and people respond so well to a good live show. It's like, you know, you can have a great record and everything sounds good and, you know, you can't pull it off live. It's, it's like, it's pointless, you know, but even if you have a, a decent record and you're a great live band, you know, it's like you're going to have such a, a more productive and a lot more fulfilling career, you know what I mean? Well, at least mixing rap and rock is something that's relatively recent as far as like po popular radio goes, but I mean, when we first started the band five, five years ago, we were doing exact same thing we're doing now, you know, and I think that with that experience under our belt and the songwriting, you know, that's what we hold on to is, as something that hopefully can be timeless, you know? I mean, we love like electronic music, trance, hip-hop mainly. But it's anything experimental, whatever, just like pushing sonic boundaries, you know. There's a lot of glamorous things, like shooting a video is very glamorous, you know. There's also a lot of non-glamorous parts of this business, you know, like loading your own gear and, you know, not sleeping and eating, you know, rotting food from some gas station and, and you know, just busting your butt, you know, not making very much money to for a while and stuff. So it's like, you know, you really have to put everything in perspective and, and, and just like really hone in and make sure that you're on the right track so that your future's taken care of. You know, it's not about like what's going on right now. You get the rest of your life to think about. So when we were looking for a vocalist, we sent Chester a, an instrumental tape of the songs and, and asked and, you know, asked him to sing, sing to that and, and get it back to us. He skipped his skipped his like twenty third birthday party, just left recorded this stuff in the studio um, and calls us up the same night we sent it to him and goes, okay, it's done. And we were like, well, can we hear this? Can you play it over the... So he plays it over the phone and we we're like, okay, yeah, just get, it. get on a plane tomorrow. Just come on out. His voice just sounded perfect. I always dreamed of being a singer like for a major band and um, now that dream finally came true. So it's been like my whole life. I've pretty much just like always said, I'm going to be a rock star, you know, kind of 
kind of teasing and or kind of silly, but I, I, at the same time, I always did dream of it. So, you know, it's cool that it actually came true.